My name is Josh McRoberts. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Bloomington, Indiana. So I started boxing when I was about 13. Um, my mom had married Rob and uh, I actually got into it as a punishment. Me and my, me and my brothers were fighting a lot and they, they took us to the gym and, you know, made us train and learn the proper techniques and everything. We got to spar each other, which was interesting. Um, we just beat the crap out of each other. And then I just kind of fell in love with it ever since. Boxing changed my life. You know, I couldn't imagine imagine myself doing anything else. Um, there's nothing really that sparks my interest, you know, the way that, that boxing does. You know, I'm in the gym all the time. Aside from fighting, I could see myself, you know, running my own gym and coaching, you know, for the rest of my life. It's something that I, I want to be able to do for as long as I can. Boxing is very similar to life. You know, when you get knocked down in the ring, you got to get back up and you got to keep fighting. It's the same thing. Uh, you know, if you're going through something in your life that's tough, you know, you don't just give up. You got to, you know, fight through it and, and work through it. I've been coaching for about four years now. Um, I teach a couple different classes. I teach a women's fitness class. I teach, do some personal training as well. Um, I also help, you know, get our fighters ready for, for competitions. Since I've been coaching, I've been able to uh, break things down more since, you know, I have to teach other people um, that have never, you know, trained before. So that kind of translates to, you know, when I'm boxing, I'm able to really, you know, think about things more. So I'm turning pro. Uh, I decided to, to make my pro debut this March uh, 2020. Uh, it's a big step for me, but I feel like I'm ready. I have more of a pro style and, um, you know, it's something I've been looking forward to for a long time. Ever since I started boxing, that's kind of been my goal. Um, but, you know, this is a start of my career. Uh, it's a big step for me, but, uh, you know, I couldn't be more excited. I've been training hard. I'm ready, ready to see, uh, how it goes. It's been a long journey. I've had 10 amateur fights. Uh, I'm ready to make the switch to, to pro though. Uh, I've got a great coach. I've got great people, you know, surrounding me, supporting me. So before my first fight, I, I'd been training for about a year. And I remember Rob asking me like maybe a, a month before the fight, he's like, hey, you want, you don't want to fight in this show in Indy? And I didn't really think too much of it, but I was like, you know, yeah, you know, whatever, I'll, I'll give it a shot. And we get there, um, and that's when I started to get a little bit more nervous. You know, you see the ring set up and, you know, it was in more of like a kind of bar type area. So there was you know, some music and stuff going on. Um, I ended up losing that fight in the second round in an early stoppage. Um, so afterwards, you know, I was pretty upset, but uh, I was really motivated to, you know, get the next one. Boxing's a lonely sport. There's a lot of times where I've been in the gym by myself, uh, just training, and I feel like that's when I've done some of my best work. Um, but you, you've got to have a good team surrounding you uh, as well. You can't just do it on your own. Got to have a good coach. Got to have good training partners. You're in, you're in the ring by yourself, but you know all the work is done in the gym. Boxing's tough. Uh, you know, there's a lot of hours that you got to put into it. I've been in the gym, you know, every day for the last 10 years. Uh, you know, jumping rope, in the bag, countless hours. Uh, you know, it just never ends. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to see myself doing anything else. You know, when I'm not training, um, you know, helping other people train. So it just never stops. But I love it. Boxing is 80% mental and about 20% physical. You know, anybody can, you know, do the physical aspects of it, but the mental aspect is really hard. Um, there's a lot that you have to think about in the ring, uh, otherwise you can, you can get seriously injured. Um, you know, it's not just two people going in there beating the crap out of each other. You know, there's a science to it. There's, it's all about timing and rhythm, learning your opponent, adapting to your opponent. In the fight, as, you know, as he's trying to knock your head off, you, you still have to stay calm and relax as well. So the mental aspect is just as important as the physical aspect. You have to be in great shape, but your mind just has to be just as sharp as, you know, your body is. I've met a lot of great people through boxing, um, just good relationships, good friends that you know I'll have for the rest of my life. All my training partners, you know, we have mutual respect for each other. There's an unspoken bond between fighters, whether it's your training partner, or, you know, somebody you've actually competed against. I've had a you know a lot of my fights. I've become friends with you know a lot of people that I fought with, and some that I still speak to to this day. My ultimate goal as a fighter is to win a world title, and as a coach, I want to you know inspire others, uh, get them into the sport of boxing and, you know, just run a, a nice gym that's very open. As a coach, uh, I just want to reach out to as many people as I can and, you know, inspire the next generation to at least try boxing as a, you know, as a workout. Um, you know, it's changed my life, so I'm hoping it could change other people's lives in, in one way or another, whether it's just through fitness or actually competing. You know, I feel like it can, like it can help a lot of people.